Hey, what's up? Welcome to Degen Ed. That's degenerative education, meaning none of this is financial advice. Just me having fun looking at charts like the chart behind me, which is of Matterport, ticker symbol MTTR. And so on the day that I'm recording this, Tuesday, January 30th, Matterport closed at a price of $2.35, being up just a tiny bit, one penny in the after hours. And I want to note that $2.35 does appear to be a pretty significant level, which I do have marked here by this white line, which was the close on January 5th, being the lowest close in this area over here, uh, which was also the close on January 11th. And that's the close we got today. So I do think that is potentially going to be acting as support. And I do also have this line drawn here at $2.36, which is the price in the after hours. And so I drew that expecting that to act as a little bit of support over here, us to see some consolidation around there. And that is exactly what we've seen. And during the last video that featured Matterport, that came out on January 17th, when we saw the test of this bottom purple line at $2.19, having a low on the day of $2.18, only to be beat two days later on January 19th, hitting a low of $2.14 with that nice wick or tail of that candle coming down, being a great buying opportunity down there. Following that day, the price did gap up and I'm actually going to mark that so we can see that there is a gap right around $2.26. So that does need to be filled at some point, uh, but it might be a little while before we see that gap filled. So good to be patient with that. Unless we do see the price break down, break below $2.35 tomorrow on Wednesday, January 31st, the last trading day of the month, the last day of the month. Uh, so if we do continue lower, uh, look for that gap to be filled, but ideally uh, we see 235 as the bottom and that this is respected before continuing higher, potentially to fill this gap to the upside at around $2.56 and um, also continuing up to this orange line, uh, which I went over in a previous video at the end of December, I believe on the 27th, when I went over this potential inverse head and shoulders pattern that ended up breaking down. And in that video, I mentioned that I would like to see a retest of the orange line at $2.74 before a bounce confirming the breakout and then a continuation higher up to $3.70 marked by the yellow line. However, we did not see that. We saw a clear break through that line. So it was a clear exit sign before coming back down into these levels over here that I have marked. And from that high, from $2.98.9, which was the high on December 26th, um, I'm gonna do a Fibonacci retracement from that level to the low of January 19th, so we can get an idea of some of these levels. All right, and so now that I have that Fibonacci up there, we can take a look at uh, one of the levels that does stand out to me is the 236, uh, which is at a price of $2.34, corresponding with this red dash line at 236, and the white line at 235. So I do think this area is pretty significant and that it is good that we are not only closing above 235 that I have marked, but also 234. If we do get a close below 234, it's quite possible we will be coming down to fill this gap. So keep your eyes on that. And the next level on the Fibonacci is the 382, which is at a price of $2.46.4, which does look like it has served as resistance. We see the pullback on the day, uh, January 30th, of almost 5%, 4.86% down on the day. So hopefully we can get a move back up to reclaim that. It is encouraging, however, that this red candle day was not a bearish engulfing candle. So I do think there is some promise that we could see a rebound 
over the course of this week. The next level up in the Fibonacci is the 50% retracement at a price of $2.56.4, which corresponds nicely with the gap fill. But do keep in mind that there is a pretty big volume shelf at 256, so that I suspect will be notable resistance moving forward. The next level up, the 618 at $2.66.5, something to look forward to, but perhaps maybe a couple weeks down the road as we first need to tackle this gap. Then of course the orange line at 274 and then another gap to the upside at $2.82, which corresponds pretty nicely with the 786 retracement at a price of $2.80. So hopefully we do see the level of 234 respected over the course of the rest of this week and we do see another attempt at $2.46. Uh, but if we do get rejected there again, that might be a double top. So keep that in mind as there could be a pullback to this gap. So don't be faked out by that. Uh, but I do think that we will eventually be filling this gap around 256. So I think we have that to look forward to in the next few weeks, unless we do see a retracement down to the $2.26 mark. But, you know, those are just my thoughts. If you found them helpful, make sure you like the video, share your thoughts in the comments down below, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thanks a lot for watching.